Hey everybody, welcome to Straight Hood, Five Ingredients or Less. So today I'm going to make something um, that's a cross between a biscuit and a powder donut. So all you need is some powdered sugar, which I put it up in here. You need a biscuit and you need some grease. Now, we got the grease. We put it in the pan, put it on medium high so it can get kind of really hot. Now all you want to do is, you want to drop the biscuits into the grease. And let it flow. Now, I want it a little hotter than that, but it really don't matter. We're going to keep turning them around. Now... I don't even remember how I came up with this. But one day, I just was just cooking stuff in grease and I just, I just came up with this. So I'm dumping the biscuits on up in here. And the biscuits will cook on the inside. So all you're doing is turning them. They're going to fold and you just turn them as they cook. That's all we do. We just keep on turning them. Because they're going to get all puffy as you see. They're going to start, you know, getting they cooking all the inside. The bubbles going to start coming out. And this is how I make um, my powder donuts, as we call it here in our house. And so this all I'm doing is keep turning them around. As y'all see, I like to play with my food. I always turn it around. And it's just going to keep on getting swollen all up. Just like if a biscuit do if it was in the oven. I let them go around. I kind of try to keep them away. Because now they should be finna start forming a color. That means the inside is done, see. Now, you just twist it so the outside can get the color you like. See how that swole up real nice? And I just keep on turning them around. Because I finna get a color on them. And that's all. Let's take about, I don't know, two, three minutes a piece. Just to keep on turning them on around. I know a lot of y'all like, man. Fried biscuits, but this actually good because I put a little twist on them, and my kids and grandkids love them. Everybody that come here really love to eat them, and ain't no time to make. Now you see all that's finna start forming a color, so I can start turning so my color can get pretty much I want all of them to be the same color, so I turn. Keep on turning them because they almost done. See, now you can get them light. You can have them dark. Whatever you want. I like them light because they easy and they fluffy in your mouth and they good. So, I get mine golden brown like that. That's how I do mine. Just like that. Yeah, buddy. This is what I'm talking about. Once you get them to the color you will like them, then you start taking them on out. Yeah, now this, this is what I'm talking about. Just take them on out, put them on up in here so they can drain that leftover grease or whatever they got in them. Just put them on in here. Let them drain that grease on. Now we come right here. And now this is where the powder sugar come in. All I do is I just dump them on in there. And I go with my hands, light and soft. It's hot. That's why you kinda let the powder donut do the powder do all the work. Just cuff them on up. That's all you doing. Cuff them on up. That's why I said the kids and the grandkids. They love playing with this because it's like playing with your food. 
Now, once we do that, I already ain't got some right here for y'all, as usual. Here they is, right here. We just stack them up, just like that. Boom. See? Maybe all powder. Look like powder donuts. And that's why the kids and the grandkids call them powder donuts, see? But I'm going to show you something. Now, when you want to eat one, you see all that in the middle? Boom. No gooey, nothing but softness and sweet, too. Now, make sure you come and see me again to Straight Hood, five ingredients or less. I'm going to show you all sorts of stuff so you can learn how to do. So, thanks. Come again.